Favorite is Tura. Moving forward, 1000 meters, stand by. Gate 6 is Stura and slow away is Stura slow by 2 and Var Achter slightly awkwardly out the gates but recovers. The white blinkers of Var Achter now speeds away by 2. Sobain is racing second looking to get onto the paint. Morning is broken around them. Var Achter speeding along to the 600 by 3. Foreign Candy further back in the running. Estura, the blue cap, looking to go in. Running green coming to the 500 with 4.5, 5 links to track down. Majestic Mary further out. 400 meters to go. Var Achter by 3. Estura starts to warm up. Rosy Bubbles in the blue on the right hand side. Var Achter by a neck. Rosy Bubbles. Estura's on the inside. Rosy Bubbles though goes on a half a length. Estura's back in second, flat to the boards, but Rosy Bubbles is finding extra. Majestic Mary's taking off, but it's going to be Rosy Bubbles day. Majestic Mary second, Estura third, and then came Sovain. Varachta foreign candy. Thirteenth time lucky for number two, Rosie Bubbles. Five rand forty the win, one sixty the place. The favourite Estura was slow two lengths and then had every chance. Between the five and the three hundred moved up, but just found Rosie Bubbles stronger. Majestic Mary is going to flash through late and will get up for that second spot. But number two, Rosie Bubbles. The Louis Gerson Gunter Frogman show continues by three parts of a length. Majestic Mary, the dynasty, flashes second. Third spot, Estura. So the winner is a Rock of Rochelle. Majestic Mary's a dynasty. Then came the Var and the Karari, so vain. Var Achtach jumped awkwardly but then sped away from them. Var Achtach at the 300, Estura moved up and Rosy Bubbles on the right hand side. The blue silks of Rosy Bubbles comes into the lead. Estura was a half a length away at that stage. Rosy Bubbles just starts to drift towards the inside late on. And Majestic Mary doing late progress. But as they come to the winning post, number two, Rosy Bubbles is the victor. Race number one, back to the studio. Well, the opening event has gone to Louis Gerson's stable. Rosie Bubbles, the uh, Rock of Rochelle, with uh, Gunter Frochman on, has uh, won the opening event. And uh, well done, they're ticking over nicely. They are, Lef. It's been a great move. Um, you guys have been fantastic. I'm enjoying the courses. I, I just, I've never raced happier in my life, uh, and I've raced a long time. So it's fantastic, yeah. yeah. You, you had the pace, and this one was ready to pounce. Yes, we tried something, you know, Varachter, when she's slow away, she doesn't, she doesn't find. So we just tried to go a bit and, and see if she'd stay on there and did our best with everything. But it suited, obviously, the winner. Um, yeah, and, and I must say thanks to Bomber, Bomber Nell yeah. um, from your show. We had a very, very good um, uh, presentation from him at Ashburton, well attended. And he's helped us a lot. And this really, it's the first one to run. We've run in his bits for two years, but we've been ordering them from the Vol. We hadn't met Bomber. Yeah. We didn't know how to size a bit and all that. So we learned so much. And so well done to him. Obviously to Eric and Evelyn Joel, our longest standing owners in our yard. It's fantastic to have a winner for them again. It might help Eric's pain in the, pain in the hip, not in the butt. <laughs> Any other runners? Yes, um, I think there's a horse called Coys on Sunday. I think, boys, I saw two things here tonight. The horse that runs second, Tony Rivland. When he puts out over six furlongs on the poly, you get stuck in the second horse here, and you get stuck into Coys on Sunday. Thank you very much. Yeah, and just thank you always to Wonderwater for the hydration. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Lou. Thanks. There we go. There's Lou. Where's the winning rider? Is he coming to join us? No, he's not here, but it's, uh, it's young Gunter Frochman who's riding so well at the moment. Well done to him and well done to uh, Belmoral Stud. They bred Rosie uh, Bubbles and she's won a very good race.